Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck. So I recently polled a bunch of you, uh, if you follow my Facebook, you should by the way, uh, to see what you want next. And a lot of people said they wanted a soup the most, and a bunch of people also said they wanted a pasta. So I said, we're gonna kind of combine the two. Today we're gonna focus on a very, very adorable, delicate little pasta called pastina. Yes, pastina. There are tiny little star-shaped pastas. A slightly larger pasta would be called Staline. That's also star-shaped. But I'm here. I'm using pastina. Now, by the way, it hasn't been discontinued. People think it's been discontinued. The Ronzoni brand, as far as I know, in this time, has discontinued it. Maybe they'll bring it back at some point. I don't know. But you can still get it under other brands in the market. I'll show you when we get started. But what we're going to do here is we're going to create what I'm going to be calling pastina porridge. It's not actually porridge, but it's going to be like almost like a soupy consistency of the pastina, where once it's finished cooking in the pressure cooker, as it continues to rest, it'll continue to absorb and it'll thicken. And it has this wonderful consistency to it, almost like an oatmeal, but it tastes nothing like oatmeal. It literally tastes like uh, a deliciously rich, creamy, parmigiani pasta dish. But like and then like a porridge consistency. At the end, I also add this wonderful little hint of egg and marinara sauce to really bring it together and make it sing. It is outrageously delicious and it is super easy to make in your Instant Pot. And the reason why we're doing it like a porridge is because in the Instant Pot, you really wouldn't cook a very delicate, small pasta, such as pastina, on its own in there as a pasta dish because, well, it could actually burn to the bottom and it could become mush. So doing it this way is going to be perfect where we have less pasta, more broth, and then they kind of meet in the middle. It's wonderful. Wait until you see how quick and ridiculously easy. This is less than 10 basic, simple ingredients. So today, the stars are all going to align because we're going to go right to the Instant Pot and make some seriously amazing pastina porridge. Let's go. Okay, so this is so ridiculously easy to prepare. It just takes two ingredients. And the first thing is going to be our pasta. And for this, it's not going to be pastina porridge without, you guessed it, pastina. Now, there's been, you know, people have been saying that pastina has been discontinued, but that's not true. Barilla still makes it. Ronzoni discontinued it. I'm not sure why, but I probably will come back for them at some point because everyone loves pastina. Pastina, what is it, by the way? Well, it's little tiny stars. Tiny little adorable stars that are going to expand once they're cooked. So what I want to do with that is I want to take between one to one and a quarter cups worth. I'm going to add it to the Instant Pot. And then I'm going to add six cups of broth. You can use any broth of your choice. I'm using garlic broth, but you can use chicken broth, vegetable broth, whatever you want. And then I'm just going to stir that up. It seems like there's a lot more liquid than there is pasta, but pasta absorbs. And by the way, it's a porridge. We want it to be more liquidy in this situation. Plus, pastina can be very fragile in an instant pot, and it can burn on the bottom if you don't have enough liquid, which is why we're doing a porridge variation. But it's going to be fantastic. All right, we're going to put the lid on top. We're going to secure it and make sure that we're in the sealing position. So let's come down to the control panel, where all the controls are, and hit the pressure cooker manual button, depending on your model. And we want to go for three minutes at high pressure. If your Instant Pot has a start button, hit that now to get going. And if it doesn't, it'll start after a few moments of doing nothing. And now that we're done pressure cooking, we're going to finish this off with a quick release. And now that the pin is dropped, I'm going to take the lid off the pot. And there we have it, the pastina porridge, looking wonderful. Look at that consistency. That's just how we want it. I'm going to put some finishing touches in there, and that is going to be a cup of cream or half and half, one cup of grated Parmesan, Pecorino Romano, or a half a cup of each, one package of any flavor of an herb cheese, such as Borsin, Alouette, or you can make my own version, which I will show you and link you in the recipe, about one to two teaspoons of black pepper. And this is optional, but I like to add in between one and two large eggs that I just lightly beaten beforehand. And now I'm gonna stir everything up together in the pot. And we want it to look a little bit soupy right now. It should be because of the consistency, but don't forget, pasta will always continue to absorb as it rests. Everything around it, especially pastina, or a chini de pepe, any tiny little pasta. But this is gonna be super comforting and delicious. Now an alternate option here, you don't have to do this, if you want to give it a little bit of a tomatoey touch, take some marinara sauce, I happen to have some in the fridge, and just add to taste how much you want. Let's say I'm adding right now about a quarter of a cup in there, and I'm just going to swirl it in. You don't have to do this at all. The heat of the pot and the pastina will 
heat it up very quickly if it's already cold and not at room temp. But you'll see the color will dissolve pretty quickly into the rest of it, just giving it a little bit of a tint. And I'm colorblind and I can tell. And it gives it this nice, really nice color and it gives it a slight twang of tomato in there. You don't have to add it though. It's totally optional. I added about between a quarter to a half a cup of it. And after a few minutes of it resting, keep it on, keep warm, it's gonna really have that pastina look to it. You're gonna get the stars really coming out. It's gonna become less soupy. So really, it's the consistency is gonna be how long you wanna let it rest before you serve it. And if it gets like too thick for you, let's say this is too thick, I think this is also just great. Just add some more cream to it now and thin it out. It's as really as simple as that. Like I said, as pasta rests, it continues to absorb. So the choice is yours there. You have those, you have all those star shapes coming out to play. The stars are in alignment. And let me tell you something, when you try this, you're gonna be seeing stars indeed. And here's a little bowl that I've ladled the pastina porridge into. If you want to, you can add a little bit more of extra ground pepper on top and some Parmesan. That's up to you, but this is beautiful and ready to serve. Let's try it out. Okay, and here it is, my pastina porridge. It's a large bowl of it, and we are looking delicious. Look at this. Here we go. Mm. All right. All right. If I hear a knock at my door right now, and some kid tells me her name is Goldilocks, I'm not going to be surprised because th this girl's going to end up staying here and eating my entire pot of pastina porridge because she's not going to want to go to those other bears' houses. She's going to stay at this bear's house and eat what's really delicious, a porridge that people actually want. I mean, it's not really porridge, it's pastina, but it's that porridge consistency. I mean, come on, you have the cheese in there. You can taste that herb cheese. You can taste the, the, the Pecorino Romano or the Parmesan cheese in there. You have that marinara kiss and the egg at the end, making it extra creamy and delicious. This has actually come together a little bit because I let it rest for a bit. The longer you let it rest, like I said, the more it's going to absorb. If you want it creamier, eat it pretty much right when it's done. It's gonna be more of a, of a runnier situation, which is also delicious. But if you let it rest up, it's gonna become like this, where it basically is thicker, like that, which I love like this, or the other way. Either way is perfect. Mm. And if you wanted to thin it out again, just add more cream, and then it becomes like a dream. Super, super, super easy. This recipe is outrageously good. It is just right, as Goldilocks would say. Mm. It's something that everyone's gonna enjoy. If kids like to eat shapes, because let's face it, pasta's all about having your shapes and enjoying to eat them, right? It's fun to eat our favorite shapes. Like, pasta keeps us young. It's like we're always kids when we're eating pasta, you know? We're eating shapes, it's fun. Playing with our food. This will be a crowd pleaser to anybody you serve this to. And it's up there with the best of them. It's a truly fantastic, comforting dish to have on one of those chilly, chilly days. And to just bring back memories and happiness of good times with the family. Or even if you're just sitting on your own and you want to be not bothered by anybody. Leave me alone, I'm eating my pastina porridge. Now in case you wanted to know, I've written many cookbooks. Four, as of now, to be exact. Four off of the Instant Pot. This recipe would actually fall under my latest book, Super Shortcut Instant Pot, where no Instant Pot recipe in the book exceeds 10 basic ingredients. If I call for salt and pepper, those are two of the ingredients. Many recipes in this book have only five ingredients or less, and every single recipe in the book has step-by-step -step color photos, as well as a final shot for every single one, so there's no guesswork with anything in this book. Seriously good stuff. You don't want to miss out on any of these. Get them anywhere books are sold. And this is the perfect, perfect gift for the holiday season. Someday you'll cook it. The Rainbow Collection. Follow me at facebook.com slash pressurelovecooking. Make sure you choose it as a favorite. You don't want to miss all the recipes I'm putting out. They're going to get you through any night of the week. Simply, easily, and affordably. Uh, and check me out at, uh, all the, at YouTube on Pressure Lock Cooking. All the social stuff at this point. But I'm on all the channels. Thank you so much again for watching, my friends. And the next time you want to make a fantastic dish to please everyone from Joan to Christina, we'll make this extra rich and creamy and simple porridge of pastina. And then you can say afterwards, bring me the eggs! If you know, you know. Enjoy. It's really good. Mm.